Akash says we can explain the world without the need of a creator. Many scientists claim this to support their argument of why they are an atheist. Doesn't this contradict the fact that we know nothing about the universe considering the vast amount of mysteries and paradoxes that emerge out of the study of physics? Does being a scientist necessitate being an atheist? So in science, it's about uh, the most parsimonious explanations of various things. And it's all about uh, the physical universe and observational data and empirical data. It's about the observable universe. It's about the physical world and material world and physical phenomena. So God is something that is not measurable, quantifiable, verifiable, falsifiable. And that's why God doesn't exist in science. The concept of God is unscientific. And when I say unscientific, it doesn't mean it's bad or evil or primitive or regressive. It it means it falls outside of the realm of science. That's all it is. So yeah, the aim of science is to explain the world through purely physical phenomena. That's all it is. That's the aim of science. The aim of philosophy is, to, is something quite different. The aim of theology or, or religion or spirituality is entirely different. These things cannot mix. Philosophy is, science is a subset of philosophy. Spirituality, I don't know what it is. We don't even have a def, proper definition of what that is and so on. Uh, so yeah, we know next to, to nothing about the universe. It doesn't mean that we need to bring in supernatural or, or unphysical phenomena into the realm of science. It doesn't mean that. We have an enormous amount of mysteries. 95% of the universe is dark. Right? And we don't know what it is. So yeah, we, we do have we do face that problem. But we cannot... The moment we, we start mixing things from outside into science, it's no longer science. That's how it is. So science is completely separate from things like religion and God and ethics and philosophy. It doesn't mean that scientists have to be atheists. There are plenty of scientists who are very, very much not atheists. I can give you some very good examples. Uh, Georges Lemaitre, one of the major, uh, the, the guy who came up uh, with the, he's one of the major uh, figures in cosmology. He was a Catholic priest. Yeah, he came up, I think, with the expansion of the universe, if I'm not mistaken. And that goes against all all tenets of Catholicism. That's an example. Closer to home, we had uh, Srinivas Ramanujan, one of, the, one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. He was profoundly religious. Right? Um, what about, uh, what's his name? E.C.G. Sudarshan. Ekkomal Chandi George Sudarshan. He was born into a Christian family in India. Later he became a Hindu and he lived and, and died as a Hindu. He is one of the greatest physicists of all time. He should have give, he should have won three Nobel Prizes. He, he was awarded none, which is all politics. He was very much a Hindu. He was very much a believer in, in God or, or whatever it is right that he believed in. He was religious. So you don't have to be an atheist to be a scientist. Absolutely not. But when you do science, you don't bring in, you don't mix up things that don't, don't belong in science. That's all I'm saying. So you don't have to be an atheist to be a scientist. And it's a, it's a misconception that most scientists are atheists. There are certain scientists who I do not consider to be high quality scientists who say that human emotions are a bunch of chemical reactions and blah, 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 blah. It's all chemical reactions and physical reactions and that's all life is and that's all emotions are and that's all everything is. Such people, <laughs> well, these are not very high quality scientists, okay? The, these people, that's all I would say about them. I'm not taking any names, of FYI, right? <laughs> but yeah, one comes across these people. So uh, the truth is we know nothing. And there could be explanations that are way beyond science. It's possible. But as scientists, you need to be disciplined and you need to follow the scientific method, which is about physical phenomena, physical objects, and um, and physical evidence. 
right? Empirical evidence. So that's what it is. But you don't have to be a, be an atheist to be a scientist. Absolutely not. 